So now let's tackle the following question. So I give you two compound propositions made of the same variables. So for example, I have P, Q as two variables, uh, which are which are propositions. So you can put um, any truth values in them, and I, I I make some compound proposition. Let's say two different compound propositions with these two variables, and I want you to compare both of them. So in the sense that I wanted to I want you to tell me whether um, they are the same. So in propositional logic, when can we, what, what is a reasonable definition of sameness or equality of two compound propositions? Well, one immediate thing that comes to mind is that if you put the uh, some truth values of P and Q, you, you'll get the same truth values for the two different compound propositions. Then you can say they are e equal, right? So, um, let's start with that so let's say let's take pq and write the recall the uh, truth value uh, truth tables for p or q and p and q so these are two different compound propositions right so what are the truth tables for these so you have pq p or q as usual we write all possible combinations here true true false false and true false true false and so P or Q, true or true is true, true or false is true, false or true is true, and false or false is false. And here, P and Q, so we have the same replicas. Right? So P and Q is true only when both are true. So in the rest of the cases, they are just false. So you have two truth tables for these two. So obviously, uh, when uh, for for three different combinations of P and Q, um, clearly these are these are different, right? So if you uh, except for okay, I'm sorry, it's not three different combinations, but two different combinations. Uh, there's false, false. So false and false and false or false, both are both are false. So when when it is true, false, P or Q is true. When it's false, true, P or Q is true but it's false in both such cases right so clearly p or q and p and q cannot be equal in the sense of propositional logic so let's make this precise by writing the def by writing a definition so the definition is of, as follows so we say two compound propositions f of p1 to pn and g of p1 to pn are equivalent if um, for any truth values of p1 to pn F and G um, give the same truth value. Okay, so um, basically, you put any combination of truth values in P1 to Pn. You put true, true, false, false, etc. Any combination of them, um, F and G should give the same truth value. So this this is an example where this is not happening. Okay, we have seen an example where it was happening. In fact, uh, in the previous uh, video, so we had the example of uh, negation, negation p and p, right? So negation, negation p and p give the same truth value no matter what the truth value of p is. So if p is true, uh, p is obviously true. This is just a restatement. And negation negation p is true right if p is false then again p is false and negation negation p is false so in both the possibilities you you get the uh, you get p and negation negation p taking the same values you see that's uh, that's why we can say p and negation negation p are equivalent so how do we write this we write this as with a with a three um, horizontal lines p equal into negation negation p. okay 
so in general if you have f of p1 to pn and g of p p1 to pn these two uh, compound propositions are equivalent we write this like that okay so um, let's let's see let's look at more examples to get a feel for this so you have you also uh, saw this negation p or q and negation p and negation q so th i i claim that these two are equivalent why let's let's just write the truth, ta truth table although we we did it before um, so p q i have p or q and negation p or q right so remember step by step i need to first write p or q and then apply negation to that and then i have negation p negation q oops i don't have space here maybe i'll write the truth table for this one first and then go to the other one so let's write this so true true false false true false true false so p or q is going to be true 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 false and negation of this is going to be false 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 and true right now let's uh, write the other one maybe i can copy this here let's see if i can do that oops copy paste oh there we go yes so um I write negation oops, negation P, negation Q, negation P and negation Q. Right. So negation P is just the opposite of this column. So false, 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 up, oh, false, false, true, true. And negation Q is the opposite of the column Q, and that's false, true, false, true. And you, here you write the and of these two. So false and false is false, false and true is false, true and false is false, and true and true is true. So clearly, the table for negation P or Q and negation P and negation Q are the same. So the, by, by the definition of equivalence, we can say that negation of P or Q and negation P and negation Q are equivalent. So how do we write this? The negation P or Q is equivalent to negation P and negation q so this is in fact called uh, de morgan's law so we derived this with the definition of equivalence but de morgan's law is given any two propositions pq we have uh, negation P or Q to be equivalent to negation P and negation Q. Okay. So this is purely a consequence of comparing truth tables at this point. So later on we'll we'll have several laws like this. So we'll have a list of those things, which uh, which can be used to derive further equivalences. So, for example, if I have, if I know that some compound proposition F is equal to other compound proposition G, and if I know that G is equal to some other compound proposition H, then from this I can imply that F is equal to H, right? So there is there is this any reasonable notion of equality should have a uh, should have the property of transitivity. So if first thing is equal to the second thing and the second thing is equal to the third thing then the first thing should be equal to the third thing and the the notion of equivalence does have that obviously so um, e you should think of this equality also as a as a um, analog of equality of functions right so if if you remember when do you say two functions are equal if let's say you have functions from real numbers to real numbers uh, two functions from real numbers to real numbers. So you say that f of x, f is equal to g, if f of x is equal to g of x, um, if f of x equal to g of x, for all x belongs to the domain, that is real numbers. 
right? So this is something very similar, except that the domain here is the um, uh, set of uh, all possible truth values. So the, the domain here is um, all combinations of truth values for P and Q, right? In the, in, in the case of uh, De Morgan's law. And this is a function F and this is a function G and we are comparing it and we are saying that they are e actually equal. So if their values, which, which, which turn out to be the truth values, are, are equal, okay? <coughs> So we can we can clearly see some sort of algebra emerging um, in this context. So you have or and as two operations. Or and and are similar to addition and multiplication in the usual algebra sense, but there is no um, perfect analog for negation in the usual algebra, and that's what sets propositional logic apart from the usual algebra. And uh, to formalize to formalize this, uh, we can. Um, introduce the notion of Boolean algebra and proposition logic falls as a special case of Boolean algebra in that in that context or you could even say it's a model for Bo Boolean algebra um, but we'll get to this uh, the de details of this we'll actually exploit the algebraic nature of of uh, these these operations uh, later on in the course so when we study Boolean circuits and Boolean algebra okay so let's look at a bit more, um, a few more examples of this. Um, let's say I have instead of negation P or Q, I have negation of P and Q. Now the tables are turned and I would say this is equivalent to negation P or negation Q. Again, this can be checked using, uh, <coughs> using um, truth tables. So you can write truth tables for negation P and Q and the truth table for negation P or negation Q. If they're exactly the same, then you can say that they're equivalent. So if you have P, Q, um, so let's write the truth table for this guy, the P and Q and negation P and Q, right? So I have true, true, false, false, true, false, true, false. And here I have true, false, false, false. And the negation of this would be false, true, 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 right? It's just the opposite of this one. So um, similarly, I can write uh, um, PQ. Maybe I'll write it in the same column, same same table. So I have negation P, negation Q, negation P, or negation Q. Okay, that's a bit uh, um, out of space there. Sorry about that. And so negation P would be the opposite of this column. So that is f false, false, true, true. And negation Q would be the opposite of this column. That would be false, true, false, true. And the R of this, so false or false is false, false or true is true, true or false is true, and true or true is true. So notice that again, you have the same truth table for negation P and Q and negation P or negation Q. So from this we can conclude that negation P and Q is in fact equivalent to negation P or negation Q. So at the beginning this was just a claim, now we proved it. Okay. So it will be tedious to check uh, using truth tables if two propositions are equivalent or not. So as I said, we'll later on devise uh, techniques to uh, to draw equivalence out of some basic laws. So this is also called De Morgan's laws. De Morgan's law. So there are two De Morgan's law laws. Uh, the first one I already stated uh, here, and the second one is this one. Okay. So notice that you are just uh, exchanging R and AND, and it doesn't matter. Right. So um, let's list all the equivalences we have derived so far. So we have derived that negation negation P is equivalent to P, right, number one. The number two, we said negation P or Q is equivalent to negation P and negation Q. Number three, we got the, uh, uh, the other uh, uh, De Morgan law, which is negation P and Q is equivalent to negation P or negation Q. Okay, so now you might be wondering, since I said R behaves like addition and AND behaves like multiplication, do we have associative laws? You have distributive laws that, that are there in usual algebra. It's in fact true. Um, we'll get to that in a, 
uh, in a second.